I'm Gary Anderson, director of the Diagnostic Lab here at Kansas State University. Well, we're doing a number of things, and because we're a diagnostic lab, we have the opportunity to see samples or specimens coming in uh, from across the state and region uh, on a routine basis. And it's, it's important to realize that um, we test for swine flu uh, and avian flu nearly every day of the year. It's a common surveillance program that we have. This unique uh, uh, swine flu, str or flu strain that we have right now has been a bit misidentified in that um, its genetic makeup is, includes not only swine genes but human as well as avian. And, and really, um, the, the, the important thing to remember here is that we've only seen it in pigs in one spot yet in North America, and that is the, the Canadian situation. We have scientists here at, on staff at K-State that are developing new tests that will detect more quickly and more accurately this strain if it does show up in our pig populations. And as, as well as developing the new tests, they're working on seeing what this strain will look like, what it does to, to pigs that are infected with it. And they're doing this in, in high containment facilities so it won't escape. And, and so they're trying to get a picture of really what this disease and virus might look like if it, if it is found in the uh, pig population in the U.S. We, of course, are, are working closely with our public health officials at the Kansas Department of Health and Environment as far as making sure there's open communication between um, cases they see and cases that we might see. We have not yet found uh, a, a case of, of this strain in our, our populations. In addition to the public health people, we of course have veterinarians and producers around the state that uh, send samples to us that we help determine not only whether there's flu there, but any other problem their, their animals might have. Always being cognizant of, of just good hygiene is the best protection against any virus or bacteria, and particularly this one. We've some years ago identified um, molecular diagnostics, so we're looking at uh, uh, using molecular biology and in uh, in in moving that te those technologies into di the ni diagnostic uh, field, and uh, we made that commitment some years ago, and we were really fortunate th uh, this past year to um, uh, garner support from Applied Biosystems, and they're a company that provides molecular reagents equipment, and they've really stepped up to join us in expanding our facilities here at Kansas State in the diagnostic arena and uh, so we've we've just recently expanded into new space new equipment and we're ready to apply these uh, uh, molecular technologies to our diagnostic cases every day